Alright guys, we're back with, this is the one I'm working on, the stationery, because you do get to a point with the retrieving, I'm not the best at it, I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not the best at making them steady, I'm the best at, I'm more of the coaching to jump higher, faster, uh, so, but this is a very soft temperament dog, and you've got to have a very specific methodology if you're going to do it, or you're going to lose your retrieve, and if you said, what do you mean, the dog's not going to go, you've made it stay so much and done all these things, and if you're the petting type, you're not going to ever get to train to retrieve either. <laughs> how do those bird dog guys do, do it? Like you said, how do those bird dog guys get away? Those dogs have so much birdiness that they get away with it once they get out in the field. But you're not going to get away with it with a, a task dog, which is just what I call it. So what you want to do, and I've got my, he may just bring the whole basket. But I've got my second object, and so I'm getting him to stay up there. But if you sit, and I put Mac up because he does it too. Um, you know, I've made that putting that footstool there the subtask. So I'm pushing him back there with the pager, though. So it, uh, the, I'm saying to myself first, if, I, if he'll be steady when I do the precursor, that's where I need to be. Rather than put the basket over there, And then him start to go towards the basket and me say, go back. Um, how cute are those two together? And the reason I can have Lou out here is because she doesn't do it. So she's just kind of looming. But now what I've done now is I've moved that green footstool, which I had made my exit ramp a minute ago. I've moved it to the other side. And I am going to use my pager. Um... And I've got my three phones. I've got my three phones, my keys, and my glasses case in the basket. And we, you're always at risk. They might bring the whole basket. All right, look. But I'm pushing him back with the pager. So he already knows this drill. Now I'm going to move my green footstool. sending him off of there with the pager. Just very... He likes to get more than one thing. I paged him back, though. Ah, oh, he, he thinks he gets paid more. He thinks pay is commensurate with the job done, not by the hour. I'm still adding a little movement. Oh, if you said what threw him off the footstool a little bit, but I just... <laughs> I didn't do anything, and there are times, honestly, that just doing nothing is the right thing to do. You know, when he was looking at it like, is that something? You know, is it... Is that something to do with me? So I think if the dog said to itself, I like staying up here, how can I do it better? They do have the option of sitting or laying down. So I did, I used my nick right there to get him back up there. But it doesn't take their attitude away at all. Okay, all right, let me do my precursor. That was my nick. And the reason that was so good was because his foot got on that plow, that green thing and I was able to push him back. And 
And he's coming and going right on the little exit. So it's all very surgical. I'm sure you're seeing that. Hello, Annika. It's all very surgical. I'm very, I'm not flinging my arm out there. Very, very subtle. All right, so now if you said, how do you get him out of there? I moved the green thing back to this side. I just made this up today. No, I think I did it the other day. But I move it back to here and then Casper. Then he's off of there. So I think if you said, well, how would you know you were starting to get somewhere? They would start defaulting to going up there on their own. Like Lou sits there on her, on her own. Yay. He's bringing me the booklet. All right, guys, I, I'm going to go over to Diamond Bar and do a puppy marathon. Be right back.